What's up YouTube? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. See, I wish I had more videos out today, but me oh my. As I continue to rest this back and make sure it gets better. I actually fell asleep late last night, so I didn't watch any games. I say late last night, early last night. I think I fell asleep around like nine o'clock. So I didn't know the Lakers got bamboozled on the court once again, which I already knew was going to happen. But wait a minute. We thought once Russ was off the team, the Lakers would start winning. Guaranteed they didn't win. And they got a victory against Golden State on Saturday night. But what happened against Portland? A less talented team. Hmm. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about the Lakers on the court. I'm actually here to talk about Westbrook and his lasting days. I should say lasting days. And the last couple of days with the Los Angeles Lakers. So, Rob Pelinka, the G Lakers GM, came out and said some things about Russ. Which some of the things I already knew. Some of the things that we already knew practically already. And he said, all of the Lakers troubles do not fall on one person. Meaning Russell, Russell Westbrook. Uh, he said it was, he believed it was unfair to blame Westbrook for the Lakers struggles for the last two seasons. I think it is too because what happened during the 2021 season? You know, blame something. There was some blame. They, they, did, they didn't do too much in that season. Yeah, they made it to the playoffs. But why were they even considered to be play, playing in the play-in that year? So, um, in an interview with ESPN's Dave McMenamin, which is odd, quite funny, because he was sitting there calling, joking in with Brian Winbag, calling Westbrook a vampire. But anyways, Lakers Vice President of Basketball Operations General Manager Rob Palenka discussed Westbrook's departure, saying it was best for everyone, although it's not fair to blame him for the Lakers struggles. And this is what he said, quoted, Our aspirations when we did the Westbrook trade was it to lead to a championship contending team. We didn't meet that goal. So you have to then look to pivot if something is not working to correct it. I think this trade deadline, there was an opportunity there. I think it's really unfair to put the last year and a half on whoever or whatever period of time that is on one player. I think the whole roster has to come together and fit. And part of that, part of sports sometimes is if things aren't working, you have to fix them, which is true. Um... The article goes on to say, this is from Laker Nation. Despite the disappointing result of Westbrook, James and Davis experiment, Lakers head coach Darvin Ham credits Westbrook for her unbelievable sacrifice. And so we all know Russ joined the uh, bench to become uh, off the bench at six man. And um, here's what I had to say to all that. Stuff I already knew, I kind of figured that was going on. Uh, and we've been saying this. We know Russ wasn't the owner of Tyler, the only problem with this team. It's lots of different areas you can point when it comes to this Lakers team. And it's not just on Westbrook. And whoever was coming out saying that, telling Brian Winbag or Dave McMenamin, whoever, that Russ is a toxic or a vampire is completely wrong. Could have been somebody in LeBron's camp. You never know. I think we all know who the toxic vampire is at this point. Due to his actions in the last couple of days. I think uh, I think Westbrook actually is the lucky one. Now, because he hasn't had to deal with this sort of crap. He's able to go to the Lakers. Cl not Lakers. Uh, Clippers. Heat. Now here in the Bulls. Milwaukee if he wanted to. Anywhere. Suns. Anywhere. He can go anywhere and not have to deal with this. While Anthony Davis, on the other hand, he shut down his social media today. And it just seemed like he's just pissed now because he wants to win. And he got his teammate over here uh, lollygagging and fame and being at Super Bowls and partying with goats and all kinds of other dumb stuff. So this team's a mess. And people say this team was a mess before LeBron got there. The thing about this team before LeBron got there, they was trending upward. You had Brandon Ingram. 
you had uh, they had at one point D'Angelo Russell and Julius uh, Randle. He had Josh Hart. He had Lonzo Ball. They had a court. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, who was the other one. I think Alex Caruso was on there too before LeBron got there. Maybe he might. I don't remember. But they had a court before LeBron got there. And now all that's been dispersed. As we all know, all those players I just named are on different teams. And all of them at this point got better records than the Lakers, which is weird because you think about it. Knicks are seventh or eighth in the East with a record above 500. Wizards, I think they're still below 500, but they got a better record than the Lakers. New Orleans got a better record than the uh, Lakers. All these teams that the Lakers had players on, they had players go to them teams are right now better than what the Lakers are. So, personally, I never thought Westbrook was the type of person that the media continue to keep trying to portray him to be as. Yes, he can be aggressive sometimes. Uh, at least he showed up to play. At least he shows up to play. I think the only time you never saw Westbrook play is when he was actually injured during those couple of seasons with the uh, knee injury. Other than that, he's been almost like an Iron Man. I just think he's gotten a bad rap over the last, ever since KD left OKC, for what reasons I don't know. They always try to blame him for KD leaving, saying he uh, created too many turnovers, which is not true because I watched that game. <laughs> that series between Golden State and Thunder thoroughly and they both committed just as many turnovers and just like KD said something somewhere around game six or game seven of that series just said oh, I, don't, I don't feel like doing this no more I want to jump over and play go with Golden State he tuned out before that and everybody got on for his opposed, uh, supposedly stat panning to get triple doubles and all kinds of other stuff but nobody's saying that for Jokic. Nobody's saying that. Well, we are saying that for LeBron. Stat paying to get that damn record. But everybody want to uh, be silent on that. I don't think Russ is that type of person they could betray. Uh, from what I heard. I forgot who I heard this from. But in the bubble, supposedly, he was giving tips to the workers at the hotel down at the Mickey Mouse Invitational. I think he was giving like $10,000 tips, something crazy. Uh, it was a video I actually watched. I want to say it was the day before he got traded. It could have been the day off. He's with a fan in Boston. And he, I think he gave an autograph or a signature on something the fan had. This is after the game they lost when they actually could have won, but they lost in overtime because LeBron cried about that call that game but he's just being nice to the fans sign I think he took a picture with the fans sign whatever and did it all with a spot even after losing and I even think last year at times he tried to motivate this team I think it was a game against Milwaukee in LA he was trying to uh, at least motivate get everybody in a good sense on the bench even though they was losing and LeBron 80 didn't want to hear it so, and I, yeah, I was about to say something else, but yeah, I just think the media, like I said before, is a media hit squad. They don't like certain players. The three players they keep continuing to go on after is Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, and KD. They keep going after them because they all like them. And as we all know before, been talked about before, they went after AI the same way. They went after Carmelo. That's why he's not in the league right now. They went after Carmelo. They just go after anybody they want when they don't like him. But as we all know, we know Westbrook wasn't a problem. We know we got the LaCroix crying at all through the night. But it ain't true. So whatever team Russ goes to, he should be a fine addition to that team. But tell me what you guys think.